Hey there, welcome to another episode of Car Talk with Kartek. I'm Nathan Kartek. On this day in history, December 4th, 1917, the psychiatrist W.H. Rivers published his seminal report titled The Repression of War Experience. This was based on his work at Craig Lockhart War Hospital, where he was treating patients who were soldiers suffering from psychological trauma from battle. One of the key concepts discussed in his report is that of shell shock, which affected 80,000 soldiers during World War I. How can this notion help us in our work lives? Shell shock is better known by its modern name, which is post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. And its modern manifestation is in the workplace is typically burnout. Burnout is especially problematic in our 24 seven work culture, especially with remote work where the boundaries between work life and personal life are blurred. To illustrate, I'll give you an example. Once at work, we were charging hard towards some aggressive deadlines and had to endure brutal schedules of working nights and weekends in a row. And although people tell me that I have the patience of a saint, I noticed that I was suddenly getting very irritable and I was getting angry at people very easily. My productivity also significantly declined. It took me forever to accomplish basic tasks. When people told me about this change in demeanor that they were noticing, I took actions to address the issue before it became a real problem. The next time you see coworkers getting unusually irritable, or if you see their productivity suddenly decline, think about it. They may be suffering from burnout. Give them an opportunity to recharge. After all, there's no point in killing the goose that lays the golden egg. So there you have it, folks. Think of it this way. In the marathon of life, burnout signals the need for a pit stop so that we can avoid a permanent halt. Armed with that knowledge, onward and upward, my friends.